Bonjour, euh, on est ravi de vous accueillir ici au, au Conseil de l'Europe après une session parlementaire très importante puisque c'était la première fois qu'on a entendu Julian Assange sur son affaire. What do you expect from the session at the, Europe, at the European Council? Well, I hope there was going to be an overwhelming majority for supporting the outcome of the report, uh, which I, I believe uh, uh, is a very important step uh, in recognizing that uh, Julian Assange was a political prisoner, was in England, uh, that he was persecuted on, 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 on the basis of political motives, uh, that uh, his uh, uh, case sets a very dangerous precedent for journalists and journalism all over the world. And I think it's very important and, and very important for journalism globally that uh, this venue here, this extremely important organization here, sends a very strong signal. Uh, we all know that this is where the consciousness, consciousness of Europe is presiding uh, from the past history. It has done exceptional work in, uh, in pointing out the wrongdoing and uh, played an instrumental role in, in correcting uh, the, uh, the nations where they have strayed from the, the good path, so to speak. And uh, so, for that reason, of course, Julian uh, took a break from his recovery uh, for this uh, strenuous journey back to Europe because of the importance of what is going on here. And uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, the signaling, the signaling is important. The signaling that he was wronged, uh, that he was persecuted, but also the uh, understanding that it was from doing very important journalistic work and uncovering war crimes, etc. Uh, it sends a, a, a strong signal to the member states, but also all over the world, because it's here where uh, uh, the gold standards of human rights is being set. So the importance of, of, uh, of this uh, report and uh, uh, a full recognition by the full assembly, it's extremely important. Thank you. And you, you speak about his recovering. How is his health uh, doing uh, since his liberation? This is freedom. For, sorry. Well, uh, he's, his health is improving, uh, but obviously he needs a lot more time to recuperate. I think everyone who was uh, listening to Julian today saw that he's, his intellect is, in, is intact. His, uh, his uh, passion for, for the truth and for human rights is, is stronger than ever, ever. but obviously uh, the years of imprisonment have taken a huge toll on him and he needs to regain his strength and he's only at the beginning of that process. Uh, so he took... Uh, time out of his recovery because of the overwhelming importance uh, of this report into his case and the greater implications. Um, and he wanted to seize the opportunity to be able to address the, the committee uh, that had commissioned this report and answer any questions they might have uh, because Julian is not able to seek a remedy from any uh, judicial body. So what is left is um, political initiatives um, from lawmakers and of course the Council of Europe and the specific um, part of it, the, the um, parliamentary, par parliamentary assembly uh, represents 46 nations. So you have members of parliament from, from throughout the Council of Europe area who um, will be informed and educated about the grave uh, precedent and um, vicious persecution that Julian has been subjected to. And he didn't want to let this opportunity um, uh, escape. And that's why he made this uh, exception uh, or a, a a break in his recovery so that he could be here uh, but he's still at the beginning of his recovery and he needs more time uh, the case now is as you say is closed with the uh, United States um, 
But uh, does he want to, to fight uh, back with the uh, Council of Europe to, to prevent uh, that student's case make uh, other case uh, as him uh, in other country from the European Union? Yeah, as he, as he mentioned uh, himself uh, this morning, I mean, the, the, uh, there is a, a, he wants to take part in making sure that this hap never happens again. So to encourage lawmakers and uh, organizations to come together and make sure this never happens again through their legislative processes to uh, international agreements, etc., etc. Uh, it, it, uh, it is very important to, to make sure that this never happens again uh, because uh, we all know that once a precedent is set, uh, uh, as I called it earlier this morning, when a, a, a knife is unleashed, and it, 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 it draws blood. Julian is the first who is a journalist who is, 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 is convicted on the basis of the Espionage Act. He will certainly not be the last unless there's a strong pushback. Uh, pushback and uh, uh, a political influence being asserted against the United States to uh, unlink the Espionage Act from any possibility of being abused against journalists but also take up safeguards in the European countries because it's, it's the interest of journalists all over the world. You don't want European journalists to be at the danger of extradition or even rendition uh, and apprehension anywhere in the world because they violate a law in the United States for doing journalism. It's such a dangerous position. It has, it has to be a pushback. And of course, Julian will will want to take a part in, in that, uh, encouraging that to happen. How we can alert of this uh, danger uh, with uh, WikiLeaks, with Julian, how we can find back and uh, alert of this danger in European country? Because uh, we see a lot of uh, journalists here today, but uh, in uh, previous months uh, they have been absent. So, mm -hmm. so we can fight against this uh, decision. Well, I think <clears throat> it's very important that uh, the Committee on Human Rights uh, and Legal Affairs has produced this report because it creates uh, not only a, a, a uh, independent investigation into what's happened, um, but also a consensus, a political consensus about the urgency uh, that uh, through which um, Lawmakers need to look at, uh, at the at the danger that this precedent poses. Uh, that actually, as Julian said in his in his statement, uh, the fact that he is free is not not thanks to the system working, but rather um, he 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 was not going to give up more years of his life for a system that didn't work and that wasn't going to deliver. Um, his freedom, and uh, that is what needs to be addressed, that uh, there are no effective safeguards where there is transnational repression, uh, where a foreign state abuses the, the uh, legal system in order to harass a journalist because uh, in retaliation for what they have published, that the, the European space is uh, not equipped as it is to uh, protect journalists who are victims of, of transnational repression. And Julian's case, I think, is the emblematic case of transnational repression uh, because you have not only legal tools, but uh, extra legal and uh, state criminality um, uh, used against him and documented, and we know so much about this case because of whistleblowers, because it's such a high-profile case, and and so th there's a lot to learn from it, and also uh, because there are other cases that are not as high-profile, that are um, equally vulnerable, uh, and so this is something that the European uh, NGOs, uh, politicians, and so on need to wake up to and address that Julian's case is actually 
uh, has, has shown a real weakness in the system, uh, in the European system, that uh, says it, it um, is a safe place for publishing, for uh, exposing the truth and so on. In reality, uh, its failure uh, to um, enact uh, the safeguards that were on paper uh, led to Julian's incarceration. Last question, maybe. Uh, what's the next for, for Wikileaks and Julian's, uh, uh, I don't know, um, work? Well, the emphasis now is on recovery, which has only started a few weeks ago, and uh, Julian needs more time. Uh, he needs to uh, uh, gather information about what the world is today. I mean, he has been deprived of freedom for 14 years. In five years, he has... Uh, not been up to speed with where the, where the world has been heading fully, and that that is a lot of a process to regain health and to uh, regain information and uh, take a, a position of of where to head after that. Um, and of course, uh, you, that will take a bit of time. But I I assume I think Stella could you could chime on that. It will be on the basis of the same principle that have always driven Julian of justice and uh, scientific journalism, uh, good values. Yes, I think um, Julian's emerged into a very, uh, a very different world and it's still early days in his recovery. Uh, but. There's a lot of work to do. Thanks. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.